One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com. And this is gonna be the coldest of cold starts that I've done here in a while at this lot. This thing I put back here, I put this and this back here too. This I don't even care about. Just wanna keep them. This I kind of felt that way too. As it came this way, it's just something I wanted to do something to and I liked and look at this. He put the sticker on there. Hope you can see that. It's not the real doo 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 doo. So this is gonna be pretty much a cold, cold start. Um, Josh did the interior a bit on this yesterday. Actually, yesterday was three weeks ago now. And he just put a battery in it. And let's see what it does. It blows. I don't know if it's fuel injected. I don't know if there'll be any gas in it. That's a good question. I think it's just gonna fire right up here in a minute. But it could take some fuel or a jump starter. It's gonna take more jump. So we're getting some gas in the tank. And the battery was wearing down there at the end, but we're gonna give it the benefit of the doubt that it'll still start it. Got a charger sitting right there on the office trailer. Might have to bring that over. Just little wear on the top surfaces here and little things. I love these old estate wagons. You don't see a Buick very often. You see a Caprice now and then. Here, let's try this thing. Yeah, that should be good. Come on now. We got it. That was close. That was close. It was wearing down. We were just about to put the charger on. So just did it, man. I'm going to let this run a second. It's as cold as it gets, man. Listen to this, though. Seriously. Oh, wow. I thought it was going to idle down. It didn't just idle down, it went dead. But you know, it's gotta be expected for sitting like this. I'm gonna fire it off again. <laughs> gotta be tilt steering on this bad boy, oh yeah. Look at this, this newer, it's a, it's, a, it's a cross between a newer and older wheel. I don't know if that makes any sense whatsoever, but it's not the old wheel and it's not the new wheel. It's got a really nice feel to it. Um, I don't want to start trying power options right now. What's up? I heard you start it again, it died. It died. Um, we gotta get air in it though. Okay. That's the one thing. You put about a gallon or two in? I didn't even put a gallon in. Uh, I barely put this. The thing is so, such a small little drip. Okay, make sure you get like a gallon and a half or something. Make sure there's a couple of gallons in it. So How much is left in there? It's full, yeah. Make sure there's a couple of gallons in here, I guess. Yeah, because there's a light on. It's, there's none in it. Three gallons, yes siree. Okay, look at that radio. PLL synthesized sound. Okay, serious stuff there. This is a tight car. I can't wait to do this. It's an Electra estate wagon. Um, you'll see the video coming up soon. You know, I just gave it a little there. I didn't even mean to rev it that hard. Um, the hood is popped. I'm gonna go ahead and trust that it'll stay running again. Uh oh, Pontiac Aztec, baby. Check my channel for a review on that one. I've got a nice Aztec Rally Edition on there. Don't die on me. And I love Aztec. Lots of people hate them. And they never drove them. They just hate them because everybody else does. Looks like we picked up a piece of trash somewhere. in the trash. Back wire outlet. Okay. 
It's dusty. It's been sitting. It's a moving on. What is this? Prime loan is good. Man, I don't know if they put a 305, Pontiac 301, Buick motor, Olds motor. Kind of looking a little oldish to me. I don't know. Oh. that little bit off. The plug's still in. All of it was here a while ago. Nice interstate battery in it. Yeah, buddy. Now this ain't gonna buff out perfectly, but it's gonna buff out nicely. Look at this one. I love this light. Is it 85 or so? Look at that. Filler pieces. God dang GM. GM put more of those filler pieces and stuff. Want me to punch a hole in the bottom of that piece of junk? For real, man. Nah, yeah, it's going. We got it. almost got it. And if you've been around automobiles very much, you know that when they switch to them stupid, no spill, environmentally friendly crap freaking tips, it sucks. 88! Late model, man. This is so stuck in between styles. Just so stuck in between styles. Which is likely why, why he went and did that. Stuff like that. It's just cool. It's, ooh, I thought I had a mantis. It is getting to be mantis season. I think we got half of it in there. That's what she said. Yes, siree. Third row. I'm gonna have to get this a little bit adjusted. Headliner needs to be redone. Let me flip this thing up here. That's what she said too. Oh, that side needs a little working with. Yeah, I'm gonna run over and grab some air. Okay. <laughs> you could go with that's what she said all day long. Okay, that needs a little work. I don't know what happened to it but I can tell it's off kilter just a little bit. Beautiful condition. Um, and this isn't a car review and a up close this or that. See, in cars the way I get them, I've got to make the choice on that. I mean, that's what it needs is a new piece of that. I'm going to keep that to where I can show people, but these pieces here, they don't do any good for us or any justice. They just need to be broken off. And actually, I start doing something like this, and I have this thing where I can't stop. It's like, well, I am almost done. And it's like, well, I could get a tool. Well, I don't need a tool. We don't need no stinking tools. Stuff like that. Okay. There's a couple pieces on there that are still pretty nice, but they're just little pieces. The sandals suck for work. Okay, that's that. Gonna get some air in the tires, burn off some oil that's been sitting on the manifolds. This is oil. That's yeah, oil. You can smell it. And get this thing out and detail them and then nail it. Hood ornaments. The stuck in between, they still had a big old bad hood ornament. I like these old Buicks. Classic cars. That was the cold start. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a couple here. Like this, look at this. Old 88 Coupe. Nice car. Nice car. I almost have this sold to a guy. He's waiting on a couple little things here. This is a nice car. I'll make you a deal. 86, 300E. One of the nicest ones I've had. Very clean. Man, it's like Oldsmobile and Pinto. Pinto runabout two-door wagon. Another 300, I got the Aurora coming up. It is Oldsmobile and Buick Place over here. Buick Centurion convertible. Serious, check my website, oneownercarguy.com. Pontiac, GTA, SL, oneownercarguy.com. Use the numeral one, one, like down below there in the bottom, and that'll take you to my stuff down here. The other one, O-N-E, will take you to my stuff in Montana. 
just took that to Montana through Portland past Mount St. Helens kitty cat and all that that one just came up on my site um, man there's all kinds of cars around here all kinds of cars so that's the deal thanks for watching I'm gonna plug this in with the rest of whatever I filmed here and tell you to actually that one's going somewhere over underneath Finland on the Slovenia I don't know look at that Buick Okay, I'm gonna walk you back over to the car. Now we've been tearing this place apart, getting things nice and shined up and going as quick as we can. Getting them gone, getting them sold, getting them detailed, getting them gone, 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 gone. And this thing's just running away. Yeehaw! Let's see what happens here. I'm gonna let it run for at least 15 minutes or so. Let's check the gauges. Look underneath, make sure we ain't puking water all over. Something stupid. Coons that drug the cash up. Okay, the cash. The trash up underneath though. I like that. Right there. Pretty cool shifter thing. Okay, one owner car guy.com. Buick Estate Wagon Electra. I guess you could say Electra Estate Wagon. Whatever. Look at the custom wheels, man. And I'm missing like one cap. I am. One cap? Let me see that. I gotta be missing more than one cap. Yeah, I'm missing two. Oh, damn it. I hate when them door handles do that. That'd give me something else to work on, huh? Yeehaw! Okay, well, one owner car guy. One owner car guy.com. The estate wagon. Getting warmed up, getting ready to get pulled out once we get air in the tires. Then you'll see detail videos. This one will actually detail out really nice. Um, yeah, it's not going to be perfect. I'll tell you what, the paint on the bottom sure looks good. It was all in that condition. Yeah, buddy. The problem is, is the sun has really nailed the top part. Sorry if that was too close. There's the top part. It's kind of been my best filming thing here. I just spent six days on the road and I'm going to make it. Actually, I already made it home last night. Thanks for watching. Add me on Facebook. We'll talk to you. Okay, I'm gonna get a a rollout video, a test roll. Hey, man, I don't want to hit this thing here. That sucks. Okay, here we go. Shoot. Feels really good. Feels really, really good. Backing out like it ain't no thing. As far as the angle of the dangle and the transmissional shiftage. Transmissional shiftage? That's right. Transmissional shiftage. I want to like just lay on it, but I need to break these things in. Hang on. Why don't we get that back car? black car, pull it forward and back it up by the fence to where we don't get it all wet. Back, okay. back all the way to the gate. I'm loving it, man. I'm going to be driving this son of a gun. I might just tear this out of it. It's been running for about 20 minutes now. And I'll tell you what, Runs nice. Keep driving my bins, be careful. Yeah, this car is so big, we're gonna have to back it up even more. But that's okay. Okay, we're gonna shut this thing off. And let it, it's so mean, it don't wanna die. What a deal. Gonna need a little tinker with that and that. Well, I guess we're gonna have to care this, huh? the car has been weed eated. What do you mean? Yeah. Oh, look. Okay. okay, they'll be. No, it's gonna peel. We're gonna blow it all off with a power washer. <laughs> okay, here comes the detail video soon. 
Gonna get ready for it, get them other cars moved a bit more. Thanks for watching, have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. OneOwnerCarGuy.com, CamSoup.com, BeaglesPocket.com.